Hello, it is Tuesday, January 10th, 2012 at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. I wanted to put a quick alert out that we need to pray for the New Madrid area. Um, this is the University of Utah, and you can see the system that's been in, in Texas. And, I mean, <laughs> this is the troposphere report from the University of Utah. And this system that's been going through Texas, and, and it's been highly charged. And right now we've got this, this ridge going right up along the Mississippi River, and it's making a bend right at the New Madrid area. And then over here, let me zoom in on that so you can see it. I don't know what these two little dots are doing over here, but those always make me suspicious. But anyway, right here you can see it, and this is going to be at, um, here's 2012, 01, so it's January. It's going to be at, this is the 10th, at 12 UTC plus 12 hours and that's so that makes it the 11th at 00, zero GMT and right now if you look at this that's like two hours away and so we're moving into this position that we're seeing here I can go back maybe sometimes it cooperates so we're right in between here and here and then over here you can see I mean, this is on either side of the um, seismic area, the seismic zone, the New Madrid seismic zone. And then when I go and look at the jet stream, you can see, let's see if I can get it to pause where I want. It's got to start the loop over. So there's that 12 GMT, so you can see that the system down here, we've got the high right here, that was that dark purple area. And so this is moving up and over the New Madrid. And we'll go forward one more to 111 at 00, zero GMT. Right there. And you can see it's just right along the Ohio River and the Mississippi River here with this high moving up into that position. I'm going to go one more 12 hours forward. Right here. And see that high is moving right up by, right up over the, that sensitive area. I always think of this as like the sternum over the, protecting the heart. And so, you know, I, I always watch this area. But another thing that caught my attention was I was going through the um, University of Memphis helicorders. And what I was looking for is um, where the earthquake registered that just happened in Sumatra. And, and that happened right up in here. And you can see there's no change. And, you know, this, this is normal. You can go back one day and see that, well, one day, one set and see that, you know, what's normal and what's not. So what you're seeing here is not a big deal, although, you know, there is some activity. But when I came down to Dogwood, Missouri, which normally doesn't show activity. Let's go back to an older one. See, it's kind of flat. Where did it go? Here it is. You can see that there was activity, but actually it was happening before the earthquake, because it's, it's going to take a while for those waves to get here. <laughs> and so then you go back the time before and look at that. And you can see that this at about 16, 15, 1630, these are like in 15 minute increments, these lines. The different colors are just so you can help find your place. So around 1630, this started acting up. See just this constant chattering? <laughs> I don't know the right word. Um, and then it continues on, and it does actually stop after that earthquake. But when you go down to, let's see, East Prairie, again, this is one that generally doesn't show anything happening. And you can see this is, you know, quite active. And we'll go back and look at the time before again. This is, starts picking up activity around 1315 UTC on January 10th. And I'll jump back on one of these and, yeah, see, it's just, you got little things happening here and there, but nothing like that. And then when I hit Kiwani, it's been, has some activity, but nothing like this, nothing where you're looking at like solid green. So that means, I would assume that means that, that the fluctuations are very, very close together. See how dense that is? And that's not at the earthquake, it's, well, here's, here's about an hour afterwards, so it's like two hours afterwards. And it's just one hit, it's not like an ongoing. 
and then we'll go look at the and see this is what Kiwana usually looks like this here and you can see this constant tremoring started or constant vibration started at 1115 UTC and then it switches over let's go back and look at this one more time to what it is now it switches over to this so we've got this continuing going on with a big one in the middle of it. And then math uses the same way. It's usually been, it's been active, but not with all this chattering going on, and then adding these back in. And this is interesting that, see, it started going, and then now it's flat almost, and then it starts going again. And I don't, I think that, I'm not sure what that is. That doesn't look right. It looks like a gap or something. And we'll look at, Previously, again, we were, this is kind of normal. Well, no, those are a little bigger than normal. And then at around 12.15, we go into all this chattering. And again, let's go look at now for Matthews. And see, now we're getting the big ones in the midst of that chattering. Let's go back a few days to 1.7. And see, you can see this is kind of normal, what it normally is, has been. I don't know that that's normal, but that's what it has been. So I just ask that you pray with we have got the election, the primaries going on, and we've got the big earthquake in Sumatra, and I'm not sure if people have their eyes on this. So again, God bless you, and um, I'll keep watching things. But right now I'm going to prayer.